Please welcome now officially to the I Missed in the Morning program our old friend, Dr. Phil. Good morning, Dr. Phil. Morning, I'm man. As the spike in the suicide rate would indicate, the holiday season has arrived. <laughs> Thanksgiving, the traditional celebration of health, home, and hearth, when you're forced to break bread with people whose existence you deny every other day of the year. <laughs> in fact, most of us would rather eat a butterball turkey stuffed with avian flu than have to listen to our drunk father-in-law rant for six hours about how he would have been line manager by now if it weren't for that uppity colored kid getting his promotion. <laughs> I don't care who you are, the Kennedy clan or the Manson family, there's a horn of plenty just overflowing with dysfunction sitting at every Thanksgiving table. <laughs> and chances are you'll be sitting between the mayor of Crazy Town and Mrs. H.I. Crazy Positive. We all have a version of at least one of these archly annoying archetypes hanging like moss fungus off our family trees. The sister and her soon-to-be ex-husband who perform an uncanny recreation of what they've been working through at the marriage counselors. Would you please pass the peas, honey? Why don't you get your whore to pass them to you? The vegan nephew who calls you murderer every time you reach for a drumstick. The bulimic lesbian niece who leaves the table every five minutes and comes back for yet another helping of sweet potatoes. Everybody's got that harmless old Uncle Alzheimer who, during the meal, can usually be found wandering around the bushes in the backyard looking for his pants. <laughs> and what would any family gathering be without the judgmental mental case mother-in-law who thinks your wife traded down when she accepted your marriage proposal instead of that nice pipe fitter boy she used to go with. <laughs> or dear old grandma, who always smells of turnips. No. Not because it's Thanksgiving, but because her depends are full. <laughs> There's a whole slew of variations on the creep known as brother-in-law. Everything from the one who spends most of the meal trying to get you into his pyramid scam <laughs> to the one who thinks French kissing your wife is appropriate because we're all family <laughs> to the one who gets drunk and calls you baldy and wants to know how Mr. Big TV shrink a-hole feels about having to kiss the ass of a fat black woman just to get his career off the ground. <laughs> I implore everyone within the sound of my voice to make tomorrow a tolerable, uneventful, peaceful event by doing what I do. Start drinking. <laughs> now, by the time the turkey's out of the oven tomorrow, you'll be under the table unconscious but thankful that it'll be a whole year before you'll have to suffer through this hell again <laughs> and why daddy keeps the guns in the case next to the bed <laughs> <laughs> dr phil here on the i'm a program